Hey guys, for my first video blog, I want to show the differences in different quality cameras. Right now I'm just shooting on my webcam. I'm starting with this because this is what most people use. They use their web their built-in webcam or if they have a webcam on top and that's primarily what they use. Uh, that works fine, but at some point you're going to want to get a better camera, preferably a high definition camera, and shoot in that and learn how to edit in that. So today's video will be the most simple uh, of videos, just showing the difference in quality between three different cameras. Now this will be the webcam, then I'm going to show you my uh, Flipmino HD, which is a $250 camera, and then I'm going to show you, actually I'll just grab, here's the Flipmino HD. I'm sure you've seen them before. Uh, this, like I said, $250, I believe it was. And then I will show you a 2000 mm, you know, like $2,200 camera right here. This shoots in full HD. This shoots in uh, 7 720p, so it's not quite full HD. This shoots in 1080. It's full HD, and I have a external mic on top, so this uh, actually is used in professional film shoots now. Uh, so we'll just go through the differences. Uh, right next, we'll use the Flipmino HD, and you'll just see how it looks. Okay, now here is the Flipmino HD. So you can see it should be a little better quality because it's shooting at a higher quality. Um, also the sound quality, I guess the computer was closer to me so the sound quality might not be any better and it essentially wouldn't be any better anyways. I don't have an external mic on there. So this is pretty much what you'll get. It's actually fine and I use it for quite a lot of things and in the past year I used it for everything. So it works really well. So for $250, that's very good. Although nowadays I would more so go with the Canon or uh, the Kodak ZI8, I believe it is. So you might want to look into that. Um, now we'll try out this camera, which you'll see will be significantly better than both. Okay, now we're shooting with the Canon EOS 7D. And like I said, now a lot of independent filmmakers are using this camera. It's actually a still camera. Uh, it's an 18 megapixel still camera. But the still, the still cameras have gotten so good that, uh, it, I mean, all a video is, is right now we're shooting pictures at 24 frames per second. So 24 pictures per second makes up a video. So essentially a very good still camera can make a now it can make a very good video camera and that's what has happened here with these this new line of Canons and there's also the Panasonic line is very good and the Nikon uh, is very good too but this is the one that I went with because um, it seemed to be the best in my opinion but if you look online I'll, I'll put links to the other ones and you can judge the quality for yourself. They're all amazing, so I don't think it really matters. Uh, what you should also notice is that the sound quality should be quite a bit better than on the webcam and on the uh, on my Flipmino HD because I have an external mic, so that helps quite a bit. Um, I hope that helped. This is just the first video blog that I'll be doing for sh Social Wants, and they will get uh, more in depth as they go, but I figured for the first one it was most important just to show the difference in quality of video because depending on what you're trying to do online, how you're trying to brand yourself, your quality of video will say a lot about you. So, see you guys um, in a week or two.